Hello and welcome back to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 10. Let's play Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. It's been about a week and a half since I've last played this due to the Easter uh, break. So apologies if you're watching it live, you have to wait a little bit. If you weren't watching it live, I guess you didn't have to wait. So um, I am a little hazy on what I have to do here. Um, we're, this is Hob... Yeah, Hobbs. See, it's all coming back to me. We, had to, we, we uh, did the horn on the car, didn't we? Okay, now we've got to get something from Hobbs. So we're going to just crack on. Excuse me, Mr. Hobbs. Oh, what do you want? You're supposed to be sprawled naked on that rug with the family jewels out. Yeah, well, um, about that. Could I just ask you a couple of questions first? Blow me. A model who's shy and chatty. It must be my birthday. Okay. Oh, wow, there's loads to talk about. Um, let's, where did I get whiskey from? Oh, that was from the car, wasn't it? Model agency letter. Right, okay. Let's ask about these things. I hear you did the restoration of that painting that got stolen recently in Paris. I might have. It's a fine piece. You can smell the pain in every brush stroke. <laughs> smell the pain. Do you know a Russian called Madovsky? You know Madovsky? Everyone in the London art scene knows Madovsky. And everyone in the London art scene who likes their kneecaps knows when to keep their trap shut. Oh, that was shut down quickly. I want to talk to him again. Excuse me, Mr. About Hobbs. other things. What now? Let's ask about this. But I thought you were a restorer. But you're working on this painting from scratch. <laughs> well, yeah. Look, some clients uh, want a painting that they don't own. Restored from scratch. If you know what I mean. Uh, no, I don't. Don't worry, Sunshine. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, about this naked sprawling... Oh, what's up? Afraid of the shrinking effects of a cold warehouse? <laughs> no, it's just... First time. A little embarrassed. Well, if it helps, we can all get naked. No, definitely not. Well then, what are you waiting for? Let the monkey see the nuts. <laughs> Let the monkey we see the nuts. We had a saying in the Stobart family. If a job's worth doing, then do it with your pants on. Okay. Um, do we need to ask him about any of these? Let's ask about the show. Showing letter. that to Hobbs was not... Okay, not a good idea. What about the... Oh, the coin. Showing that to Hobbs... No. Give him some whiskey. Where's he going? How about a top-up, Mr. Hobbs? Thanks, but I've already got a glass full. Okay. So maybe we have to... Um, oh, well, let's show him the cockroach. Let's go around this way. Excuse me, Mr. Hobbs. Mr. Hobbs, meet Trevor. Who's Trevor? Who's My Trevor? cockroach. Take a look. Difficult childhood, eh? Well, don't take it out on me. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at everything. I feel like we might have to do something with a whiskey glass. Maybe get him, maybe poison him or something. Hi, what do you think you're doing? Oh, sorry. I, I was just going to take a look at some of your pictures. You're very good. I know. And that portfolio is private. I think that's I'm not paying you to get. go up around my studio. Get your blooming clothes off. Sorry. Sorry. I think I think I do have to go in there, don't I? Bottles, whiskey glass. Anything else on that table? Nope. Ooh, exit. Which way did I come in? I think it was that one, wasn't it? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's use the stool. I mean, he's going to tell me to go and get my clothes off, isn't he? He's going to stop messing around. I didn't need to sit. It was time for action. <laughs> let's turn this off. I wasn't going to mess around with that wiring. Oh, okay. Let's talk to Nico then. I think we have to get this portfolio. What can we put in his drink? I feel like there's some. Hey, Nico, got any ideas? Paint stripper or something. We need to take a look inside that folder. Yes, I Oi, know. Oi, you two. Less of the gabbing. I've got work to do. 
Okay, so Nico was no help there whatsoever. Negligee. I didn't want to play around with the negligee. Oh, come on, George. Those days are long gone. <laughs> but I wondered who it did belong to. Maybe I have to. Oh, let's go behind the screen. Is he going to take his clothes off? That would be hilarious. My, my. If it isn't George Stobart. What? Lady <gasps> Piermont. Amazing. Oh, Favourite game ever. my. You're naked? Of course. <laughs> As an artist's muse, one often finds oneself en pelotas. Now, George, don't be shy. Come here and give me a big hug. <laughs> That day was the day the nightmares had begun. Trapped, smothered, choking on lavender. Uh, George, darling, pass me my robe. It's terribly cold in here. Oh, that was an unexpected joy. Oi, what are you doing with a blooming robe on? God help me, but you're supposed to be naked. I've got a deadline to meet. Well, you won't be meeting any deadlines with manners like that. And besides, it's freezing in here. Lady Piermont and I had met before. She was larger than life. In every way. Uh, Piermont. I mean, I'm actually going to have a look at her character gallery and see what it says about her. Lady Piermont first appeared in Broken Sword Shadow of the Templar. She claims an impeccable lineage and that my blood may be blue, but the flesh is the plump beef of old England. And she's not afraid to flaunt it. One thing is certain, she can always be relied upon in a tight spot. Yes, she can. I do love her. Okay. That us let's, let's have a chat with her. How's she been? Lady Piermont. Oh, George, be a darling and sort the heating out in here. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Is that it? Oh, I think I just speak to her after all of that. Oh, let's put the stereo on. Let's see what we've got. Ooh. Wow, an old Boffson Wang stereo. I hadn't seen one of those for years. And the Black Album. Bit of a Metallica fan. Hobbs seemed to have a thing for 70s psychedelic jams. Okay, let's put it... What is that? The record had stopped. It was Jasmine Breeze by the Hairy Lobsters. Can I grab any of these bottles? No. Oh, books. Burroughs, Dick, Rand. Hmm. Hobbs liked his literature heavy and paranoid. I've only ever read a few uh, Philip K. Dick books, and they are insane in the membrane. Like volume knob. Let's turn the, volume the stereo off. was switched off. Adjusting the volume wasn't going to make any difference. Okay, let's turn it on. Click. Now let's turn it on. I turned the volume up a few notches. A bit more. I turned the volume down again. Oh. No, I want to turn it up. I turned the volume up a few notches. Can I make it faster? Groovy. Right, let's get out of this joint. What's that? Oh, thermostat. Where is that? Come on. Just turn it down. What happened? Hey! Leave that dial alone. Sorry, but Lady Piermont is cold. I thought... Look, pal, I know it's brass monkeys in here, but the wiring in this building is ancient, and the fuse box won't take it. Her Majesty will just have to get used to chapel hat pegs. <laughs> Lady Piermont, Mr. Hobbs won't let me turn up the heating. Well, we'll soon see about that. Oh, oh. crumbs. <laughs> right, it's, it's easy If you do now. not adjust the heating, I shall refuse to cooperate. Lady Piermont, it's the circuits. They won't take the strain. You know what old buildings are like. In which case, I see no reason for this session to continue. Whoa, Lady Piermont, let's not be too hasty. I'm sure I can accommodate your needs. Good. Perhaps you can start by letting George here turn up the heating. Oh, oh go ahead then, but be careful. The power in here is uh, temperamental. Have I got to short it or something? 
I turned the thermostat up as far as it would go. I wondered if the suspicious wiring could be used to my advantage. Lift buttons, balcony door. I feel I've got to overload the system somehow. So I'll turn that up and it's on. Let's push these buttons. Anything else? Any, anything? Electrical? Oh, you! Get down from there! You'll trip the power in the whole building if you're not careful. That's what I want to do, mate. That's what I want Blowing to do. the power would certainly have distracted Hobbs, but the elevator alone wasn't going to trip the whole system. Oh, yeah, but... Hmm, okay. What about... Let's mess with the fuse box. See if we can mess with it now that we've acknowledged it. I mean, I think there's the thermostat, the stereo, and the... And the and that. I think we've got to mess with the stereo again. I wasn't going to mess around with that wiring. Okay. Let's have a look at the stereo, I guess. Something else? It's electric, painting. Mm. Let's have a look at the stereo again. Oh, that's loud. Click. Um, is there anything else? Volume knob. Turntable. The record had stopped. It was Jasmine Breeze by the Hairy Lobsters. Hobbs seemed to have a th Yeah, I'm not really sure what else I could do. What's... Uh, wires? No, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do and then turn it back on again. It's going to be loud, isn't it? The magic is started again. Right, let's crank it up. I turned the volume down again. No. Turn it up. I turned the volume up a few notches. Can I turn it up a little bit more? I turned the volume down. Let's turn it down. I turned the volume up yeah, a few Yeah, we're up again. Let's talk to Lady Piermont, see if she has anything else to say. A word if I may, Lady Piermont. For you, George, I'm all ears. How can I help? Hmm. Can you keep a secret, Lady I am the very soul of discretion, as you know. <laughs> you see that portfolio by Hobbs's table? We need to take a peek inside. Be still, my beating heart. <laughs> Just give me the nod, and I'm happy in your hands. Okay. Lady Piermont, we need your help. How thrilling! What do you need? Subterfuge? Leisure domain? Um, actually, I just need you to step on that lift behind you. Oh, but of course. Why oh, do you think the extra weight will overdo it? Overcook the system. Is this good, George Darling? Perfect. Now, just stay right there. Okay, let's go and do this. I haven't even tried to get in this door yet. Take your time, George. Oh, yep. Oh, not again. Yes. Blown it. Right, craft the portfolio now. Bit faster, George. Bit faster. Oh no, that's not quick enough. Not by far. I was not too by late far. to catch a look at the portfolio. Well, maybe we, maybe we have to get Nico involved. We have to do it all again. <laughs> Let's just leave it there. Go. Well, so much for a distraction. Hobbs is watching that folder like a hawk. Perhaps you need to slow him down a little. Oi! I'm trying to paint here and you're in the way. Now, get behind that screen and take your bloody claws off. Okay, can we, um... Can we put the perfume in the... Never in a month of Sundays. No whiskey, no. Let's just top him up then. I think there's anything we could put in the whiskey. Let's give him a little top up. Let's get him drunk. How about a top up, Mr. Hobbs? 
Can you see Trump here? Yeah? If I do. There you go. Cool, lovely. Um, I feel like we might need to do something with this stool as well. Um, let's put some whiskey on the stool. That wouldn't. I think he maybe might slip on it. That would. No, what about what about Trevor? Trevor? That wouldn't work. You just pick it up. I didn't need to sit. You no, I want you to move it, George. He's not with me, is he? he doesn't understand my logic. Put biscuit on there. Let's have a biscuit. That what? No, I mean, I'm trying everything with everything. Let's set it on fire. I needed a... No, okay. So he might be a little bit drunk now. But he hasn't drunk any. Hmm. What else could we do then? I mean, I'll, I'll try it again. I don't think I've really done anything different. Is that a little bit of whiskey? He's either got to be drunk or I've got to put something on there. There you go. Oh, not again. Go on, are you drunk? Are you... No, you see, he's, he's going to go straight there and he's just going to click on there. Go up there. He's not drunk enough, is he? Hmm. Yeah, it's not going to work. I was too late to catch a look at the portfolio. I mean, there goes a city. This there. is going to be one of those days. He's drank, right, he drank it. A straw had broken the camel's back. Yes. Hobbs was very drunk. Maybe we just did, Now he's drunk. <laughs> Get out Right, he's drunk. Now this might be able to do it. Do it again. I mean, look how pert and perfect she's standing there, like a little doll. Oh, dear. I feel bad for her. <laughs> she is my hero. She's my hero of the whole series. There you hear him. Look, he's taking his time now, isn't he? Taking his, really taking his time. Now was my chance. Go then. Now was my chance. I nonchalantly walked as slowly as I possibly could. Nice. It was one of Hobbes' sketches. Yeah, okay, next page. What is it specifically? Oh, that looks interesting. Impressionist sketches. Well, it wasn't La Maledicio, but it did appear to be a study for an element of the painting, the Ouroboros. There was something different about the image in the center. I figured the sketch might come in handy, so I took it. There what the go. heck are you doing with those? They're private papers. Huh? Oh, no. Well, that was fun. Just like when you were a private dick, George. So, you're not models? No, Mr. Hobbs. Well, you can't be a copper. You're not stupid enough. <laughs> so what the blazes are you doing in my studio? We're investigating the theft of La Maledicio. I told you, I just restored it. That's what I do. Restore paintings. And these sketches? Studies done during the restoration. Nothing more. I've got now to do with what happened after that painting left this studio. How was I to know it was going to get Henri killed? Oh, I didn't say that. He knows. Hang on a second. How do you know Henri's dead? Look, he and I went back a long way. Le Lézard Bleu was on the rope, so I got the painting into his exhibition. Nothing like this was supposed to happen. Oh no, soft, hard. Hobbs. But something did happen, Hobbs. Your friend lost his life. Look, I'll help you however I can, but this mess is way above my pay grade. What do you want to know? What do I want to know? <laughs> Trevor? <laughs> uh, this painting. How come sketches. you needed to make so many sketches of the painting to restore it? Restoration is not about throwing a lot of paint around. It, it takes research. The surf is a complicated painting. A lot of subtext. A lot of symbols. Okay, symbols. I don't know why I'm going to say. He probably wouldn't care. Oh, all right, fair enough. Do you want a biscuit? I knew he would. Oh, let's have a look. I'd just sketch. taken the sketch from Hobbes' portfolio. Now what? I'm not going to give that back. Tell me about the symbols in La Maledizione. Very Christian, deeply religious, but not exactly orthodox. 
The sort of thing that would upset a priest? There was one at the gallery telling everyone how evil it was. As I said, it's not exactly orthodox. And the church can be very touchy about orthodoxy. Oh, so the church, Especially now they can't just burn anyone they disagree with. Why would anyone want to steal La Maledizio? It's not exactly a famous painting. True, but there is something special about it that's hard to describe. There's conviction in every brushstroke. Whoever El Serp was, he had a tale to tell. The symbolism is deeply religious. Oh. We have reason to believe that Madovsky is mixed up in the theft of La Maledizio. Eh? <laughs> what would he gain from stealing his own painting? We have strong evidence that Madovsky is not the real owner. He'll have a hard time proving that. Madovsky has a full set of providences for the painting. It traces its legitimate ownership all the way back to the painter. Why didn't Madovsky mention him? Because they're not with him. Henri's got them. Oh. Or had them. And Henri is dead. Interesting. So ask his partner. Lane? Lane, yeah, Lane. Look, pal, you're wasting your time looking for conspiracies here. And you're wasting my time if you're not actually going to get naked. <laughs> Go get the provenance from Lane, and everything will turn out hunky-dory. But it also puts Marquez's story into question. Not my problem, darling. Now both of you, get lost. I've got a painting to finish. And we have a critic to interrogate. Someone's lying. But who? Is it the gangster or the old Spaniard? The painter or the art critic? I need to head back for Nave's reconstruction. What about the evidence from Medovsky's house? Will you give it to Nave? I think I should. And I can put the squeeze on Lane. Ask him about the provenance. Good. I've got lunch with Ronnie tomorrow. This story is hurting up, and I want to make sure he keeps me on it. Taxi? <laughs> Taxi? In the deserted streets of London? A short flight later. Oh, okay, so we can go to Nico's apartment, Bijou's apartment, Gallery, Vera Security. Um, I'm probably going to go to the gallery, I imagine. But we are going to leave that until the next episode. I really enjoyed today's. I love the fact that Lady Piermont is back. She's adorable and she is a hero. So if you love this episode, please leave a like. I do genuinely really appreciate it. And until next time, you have a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening. Whatever it is you're doing right now, take care.